Bradley Public Library and today we are making lime cord vases. So here's what you need to get started. You are going to want a vase. So I have a square vase um, which I found really helpful for planning out the sides before I glued them on. Um, you can use different sizes and different shapes. You'll just want to make sure that you know you have one that you can work with. I don't think I could have done a circle one for example. Um, you'll want Gorilla Glue or any other kind of craft glue. I used this specifically because it dries fast and also because I didn't have to clamp it as it was drying. And then lastly, you'll need corks. Um, so you can use a wide variety. I have all kinds of different sizes, which was really helpful for planning this out beforehand. So for starters, we're going to plan it out, take a look and see um, how we want them to look. I began by planning out each of the sides of my vase, and I did two different designs, but depending on the size and width of your vase, you may have a lot of options. When you're arranging your corks, you'll want to find corks that fit well together because having a cork that's too big or too small may make the rest of them uneven. When I started gluing my corks to my vase, I began at the bottom. Since I used Gorilla Glue, I didn't really have any time to adjust them, so I tried to get them in the right place the first time and tried to get them all in the vase as quickly as I could so I could make any minor adjustments. Then I held each in place for a few seconds until they were set. I also kept the side I was working on face up to dry so that no glue dripped down and got stuck to the table. After gluing each of the sides, I moved on to the vase corners where I just used two corks stacked on top of each other to finish up. Last but not least, add your cute little plant and you are done. That is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I think it came out pretty cute. I think it would be really cute if you had a tall one and a short one, make it a nice little centerpiece. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day.